Hey friends, it's me again. Today I'm going to explain keyword arguments. A keyword argument is an argument preceded by an identifier. It has a few benefits. It helps with readability, and the order of the arguments doesn't matter if they're keywords. Keyword arguments are one of four basic styles of arguments. We discuss positional, default, then next we'll discuss arbitrary. But today we'll be focusing on keyword. Suppose I have a function to display a message, like a greeting. I will name this function the hello function. We will need a greeting, a title, Mr., Mrs., Doctor, a first name, then a last name. All I'm going to do within this function is print an F string. I will print my greeting, the user's title, first name, last name. Then to invoke the hello function, I will need to pass in four arguments, a greeting, a title, a first name, and a last name. So for my greeting, let's say, hello, the title will be Mr. The first name will be SpongeBob, last name, SquarePants. So you know, this does work. We're currently using positional arguments the position of these arguments does matter. So what if I were to switch these around? We have hello, SpongeBob SquarePants, followed by Mr. Hello, SpongeBob SquarePants, Mr. An optional feature when sending arguments to a function is that we could turn these into keyword arguments. Prefix any arguments with the name of the parameter, followed by equals. Title equals Mr. First equals SpongeBob last equals square pants. Then with these keyword arguments, the order really doesn't matter. Maybe we move the first name to the end. And this still would print out as the same thing. We have title, first name, last name. If you're mixing and matching positional arguments and keyword arguments, you want to be sure that the positional arguments are first. So if I was to move the string, our greeting, to the end, well, this technically wouldn't work. We have a syntax error. Positional arguments follow keyword arguments. So make sure any positional arguments are first before using any keyword arguments. Two helpful benefits of using keyword arguments is that it helps with readability and the order of the arguments doesn't matter. We know what this argument is as well as these two. Title, last name, first name. Let's say we have a first name and a last name, John James. These two names kind of sound like first names. Is our first name John or is it James? We could use keyword arguments to clarify which is which. You thought John was the first name, but it's actually the last name. And the first name is James. Then our title is still the same. Hello, Mr. James John. Let's cover another example. I'm going to print the numbers one through 10 using a for loop. For X in range, 1, 11 because the second argument is exclusive. Then I will print x. After each print statement, we print a new line. Do you remember in previous topics how we would follow our print statement with comma end, then a new character, such as a space? Well, end is a keyword argument found within the built-in print statement. In place of ending each print statement with a new line, we are using this keyword argument of end and sending it to be a space. Another one is separate that's found within the print statement. Maybe we have some numbers. They're all separate strings. The numbers one through five. I can use the separate keyword argument, then separate each of these strings with a given character or characters. I will separate each of these strings with a dash. A lot of built-in functions, such as the print function, they have some keyword arguments you can use. Let's go over an exercise now. We're going to create a function to generate a phone number, but we'll need to pass in a country code, area code, the first three digits and the last four digits. Let's define this function as define get phone to get a phone number. We have a country code, area code, 
first meaning first few digits, then last meaning last few digits. We will return an F string. We will place our country code first, dash, then our area code, dash, the first few digits, dash, the last few digits. My phone number, phone num, equals, I will invoke the get phone number function we just created, but we'll need a country code, an area code, first few digits, then last few digits. And remember, the order doesn't necessarily matter. Usually, I try and be consistent with the order of the parameters. Make up a phone number. I'm in the United States. My country code is 1. Area code, 123. The next few digits will be 456. The last few will be 7890. Then let's print this phone number. Print phone num. And here's my phone number. Although you can change it up based on how you do phone numbers in your country. This is typically how you would see a phone number in the United States. All right, everybody, so those are keyword arguments. They are just arguments preceded by an identifier that matches the name of a function's parameters. It does help with readability, and the order of the arguments doesn't matter. When invoking a function, it could be helpful to identify some of these arguments. And well, everybody, those are keyword arguments in Python.